Hi kids, this is Mrs. Sweeney and I showed you how to recycle clay down the other day about taking really dry clay that's never been fired, putting it down into the bins and um, just covering it with water basically and it slakes down overnight. Well, uh, the clay you see right down here, and I'll get it up a little bit closer, would be clay that has definitely been slaked down, but also I did drain the water, a lot of extra water off, and I added a lot of powdered clay that looks like this, as you see. In fact, I have some of that powdered clay right in this cup. I'll put a little bit down, you'll see why. It's kind of like working with flour, except it's powdered clay and working with dough in a way it's just so it won't stick very much and it also helped kind of stiffen it up a little bit too so I always use two paddles oops here's a little piece of that dry clay I'm gonna get that that'll be like a little rock I'll get that out of the way I'm going to instead of using straight with my hands I'm going to use these two paddle spoons and get it up on there it it really likes to just stick to gloves so sometimes gloves really aren't handy unless you really just need to protect yourself for some you know irritation kind of reason but usually I just use my hands or I use a paddle like this well it's not too sticky it's a little sticky right now so the paddles are much easier to work with I'm just going to do a small amount I think that'll be enough right there to show you how to wedge put these back in there Sometimes I sprinkle a little extra clay down there. Now, before I put, touch my hands to it, normally I would get jewelry off and put it in a real safe place. I wouldn't, I would never just like lay jewelry onto a table. It just gets lost. But I'm going to get a little bit of extra powder. Try not to make a lot of dust. It's not good for your lungs. So I try to be careful about that. And I'm going to kind of work it in there. I'll turn it over sometimes. Just kind of hit this the really moist spots. Okay, um, and I'm going to wedge where I just kind of, I'm trying to work out some of the extra air bubbles that are naturally trapped in there. I'm trying to work some of the powder, clay powder in to stiffen it up. I have plaster that's uh, dry poured plaster within a frame. I have canvas material that's really absorbent. There are a lot of tricks to um, the surface you wedge on is also helping dry it up a little bit. Actually a lot of it. <laughs> Even your hands and the air, all that helps to dry it up. Uh, this type of wedging that I kind of naturally do where it kind of twists is for if you're wanting to throw on a wheel. It naturally spins the clay and tightens up the platelet kind of shaped um, particles it has. And then when it spins, this is the butt of the clay, and then it spins out really well um, and centers much easier. Now the regular kind of wedging, get a little more powder down here, is bull's head kind of wedging, where it's kind of pushed into itself. I, I'm not folding over clay where it traps bubbles. I'm just pushing it into itself, pulling it up, pushing it in, pulling it up. Until the soft spots kind of work their way through a little bit more homogeneous, you know, more even. And if it doesn't leave a big sticky mark, we're in good shape. I don't want to over dry it. Now, if I was worried that I had to, to work it up a little bit to get it more smooth, but I didn't want to get it really any uh, stiffer, I could use a little bit of water instead of the powder. So there are little tricks about that. You have to kind of get good at judging what you need. And this tool, this is scraper, is good if it, if you are finished to just kind of gently scrape off any chunks. And once in a while we kind of clean it up a little bit, but right now it's all right for the next person to work. Now, this clay's good to go. I could work, um, I could store it. Now, by the way, on storage, I have a bag, has my name on it, already ready, because I wouldn't want to touch a marker and tape now, right? So you have it ready. You put it at least into like a grocery sack works as long as there's no holes in it. And if I was ever thinking that my clay was maybe a little bit stiff, I could give it a little bit of a mist inside of there before I close it up, but it's nice and soft right now. And so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to 
tie it with a simple knot. Don't double, or you'll never get it out. And then squeeze some of the air out. And I always like to store it so that I can see my name. And you know, we have storage bins back there. I can even double bag it, as long as my name's on the outside. So this is good for working. And I have one more. Here's some clay that I uh, made up yesterday. And I was running a little short, so it was always easy to kind of come over and get a little extra clay. You can even work it in your hand some. You don't have to necessarily go through the whole process of wedging. As long as it's um, nice and workable right out of the bin, that happens a lot. And this is a project that we were doing a little bit of organic pinch forming. It's our first project. Now, I know this looks super rough, but for those of you that were here the other day, this was like a, a cheetah on a pillow. And it could turn into a llama at this point or practically anything. But that's the idea is when you pinch form, you're working with a lot of this really solid, not solid hard, but what I mean, it doesn't have like a hollow area yet. That comes later. But you work with a complete um, organic pinch forming, trying to not take pieces apart and putting them back on, trying to think of it as a form, as a whole form together. And just pinch and, you know, move and shift the clay, move it around. And you always want to have more clay than what you think you need because it will eventually lose its moisture and shrink. And in a kiln, it loses more of its chemically bound moisture. And when the water goes out, it, the clay will shrink and go. And when it fires, it goes back into the, um, the stiff, hardened state where it actually transforms back into rock. Okay? And so this was uh, basically what we're wedging, storing, and kind of. Um, how you always keep it moist and workable because you don't want it to dry out.